All right, so we have the basic rig build for the panel. Uh, what I'm going to use is actually an adaptive component. So I'm going to create a new family, an adaptive component. And now basically you're going to see why I build the rig the way I build it. So let's drop, let's drop a few points and exactly 10 of them in there. Now let's connect them. with the splines. Or a straight line for those two points. Select all our points. Not the lines, just the points and make them adaptive. And now the order of those points is very important, but it seems like it worked out pretty well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. This is perfectly what, exactly what we need. So if we load that into our family, we start over here and just go in that order. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's our that's our uh, rig that we're gonna use. Well, actually, there is uh, there's two more points over there that haven't been assigned uh, the thickness parameter. Uh, let's hide this for a second and this point has to be 0.96 so it's gonna have thickness 1 and this one's gonna have thickness 2 which is on the other side but since it's an adaptive component you see it all those two points are dragged are hosted on those two points so so it all dragged around so let's select our adaptive component and the middle reference line and hit create form. And you see we basically created a sphere. But it has an end angle parameter which allows us to control how much of the sweep has actually been done. So we actually want to do add a parameter to that and let's go and end the angle. Make sure it's an instance. I'm gonna hide this. Now if we add two more points over there and give them radius one which is 0.71 that basically completes the rig and now I'm gonna put those sort of fill in those uh, triangular corner pieces so let's set the set the working working plane and if you right click and go to snap overrides points you can select this point this point and then this point over here and then if we just select those three points and if you hold your mouse over it highlights a couple of different lines it connects them together but if you tab then you can select just one of them and then if you hit create form you can create a plane so basically just do the same thing for all four of those corners so once you have all four of those corners filled in, you can go ahead and uh, unhide the actual panel form. Um, the next thing to do is, the way this uh, the API plugin works, is that it actually requires uh, a controlling formula that's, uh, that's going to sort of 
uh, be driven by the uh, bitmap image. So what we want to do is actually add another parameter. And this one's going to be called grayscale. Um, it's, it's a length parameter and you want to make sure it's an instance because it's going to be different for each panel. Now, in order for me to limit, because uh, if, if you, you probably have noticed that this can rotate anywhere from uh, from 0 to 360 degrees. So you want to limit it from 0 to 180, which is the closed state. To do that, um, I just added another parameter. And I call this an angle limit. And you want this to be an angle parameter. Um, it can be an instance for each one of the panels. So there's a nifty little formula that you have to type in. It starts with if, then you open the open the parentheses, um, and angle. Less than 180, and now we need a degree sign, so I just copy one from Microsoft Word. And what that does is that it basically controls that. You can see over here that when I type in for the end angle a negative number, for example, it's always going to bump it up to zero. So we're never going to get a negative number on that rotation or anything bigger than 190, 180 is always going to be bumped down to 180. So we never go lower than zero and higher than 180. Now, also the way this, uh, also the way the plugin works, it only goes from, only goes from uh, one to uh, twelve inches, so it's from one to uh, to a foot. I think I deleted it, so actually I'm gonna add another grayscale instance so this is only gonna go from either one inch to uh, one foot so what we want to do is to add another controlling parameter I call it a big X uh, this is gonna be a type parameter and you want this to be an integer and this is let's just set it to 15 so now our end angle is actually going to be a formula which is a big X multiplied by grayscale. Uh, we'll have some units that we need to convert into. So let's divide it by an inch and multiplied by a degree okay so what's going to happen now is that the, the bitmap is going to control whether the input of the grayscale is anywhere between 1 and 12 so if we type in 12 inches it's not going to be bigger than 180 degrees because of the x factor that multiplies it and if it's one inch then you basically get a you know, degree turnaround from this formula so basically 1 to 12 is as good as uh, you know 
turn to 180 degrees so that should be uh, that should be all with all the parameters and we can see the panel works so in the third part of this tutorial I'm actually gonna show you guys how to apply the panel and get the image ready